Okay, so this book is a classic. So, if you give a mouse a cookie. Illustrated by Felicia Bond, written by Laura Joff Numeroff. A classic little mouse with his blue overalls and a big chocolate chip cookie. You might hear my kitten Ryan running around. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. And that's only the beginning. Green crayon, brown crayon, scholastic ink. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie. Here he is eating cookies and reading comics. Laura Chow Humoroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond, Scholastic Ink. For Florence and William Numeroff, the two best parents anyone could possibly want, LJN, to Carolyn Prescott, FB. If you give a mouse a cookie, oh, you're eating comics, offering a mouse over here in overalls a cookie. He's going to ask for a glass of milk. Look, run around that cookie, he's only taking one bite. When you give him the milk, hmm, so we got the milk gallon out, we're definitely in America. That glass is bigger than the mouse, goodness. That doesn't look safe. I think it's rice for him to ask. He'll probably ask you for a straw. Hmm, I guess we're having trouble with those straws, huh? Cupcake liners. And what are those soda cans? I love cans. Here's a jar of olives. Uh, animal crackers. A box of... <laughs> Kitty Cat is having fun. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Yellow straw. Oh, look at you. What a little mesh and what a plump little belly he's got. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. Oh, look, he's helping him up. That's kind. But all the stuff's on the floor. Goodness, a bit of a mess. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. Oh, he does have a little hair sticking up. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Oh, better go trim him up. Oh my gosh, look at all that hair. So much hair. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. Wow, look at those giant piles of dust. Huge piles of dust. Really, just wild. Sorry about the kitty having fun. He may even end up washing the floors as well. Wow, look at that, scrubbing the floors. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. I would too. Goodness, he looks pooped. Worn out. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. Oh, look at that, we're dumping out all the powder. Hopefully didn't nobody needed that still. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. Oof, oof, oof. It's a super beauty powder. I think it says, well it says powder, so maybe powder. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Hmm, do you like stories at bedtime? I know I do. And look, he gave him his red handkerchief. How fun. So you'll read him to him from one of your books and he'll ask to see the pictures. Oh, reading a comic book. I see a jungle man with a hippo and a very 
<laughs> Jingly kitty. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Oh, look, he's jumping out. He'll draw a picture. Green, brown, yellow, blue, gray, orange. When the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. What a great picture. He is an artist. Amazing. Look, there's his family, his two siblings, and his two, probably his two parents. With a pen. Oh, crayon's not good enough for his signature there, huh? Look, he used that, getting rid of those dustpans. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, oh look, <laughs> those arms are full, scotch tape. Yep, there's the clear tape. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, oh, there's the olives again. He's thirsty. So, hmm, can you guess? Can you guess? I think we can guess. He'll ask for a glass of milk. And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, hmm, he's going to want a cookie to go with it. Do you have a favorite cookie? I love cookies. Chocolate chip. I even like oatmeal raisin. I think they're quite yummy. So I hope you enjoyed the story and the bell jingling wasn't too distracting. Have a great day. Thanks for listening.